If you are using a Contact Us form or other type of form on your website and your website is hosted with Bluehost and you're finding that uh, you so when forms are submitted it doesn't arrive, uh, then this video will show you the key things to look for and how to get it working. Uh, this video, the demonstration is with Contact Form 7, uh, but the same principles apply for uh, Fast Secure Contact Form or any others. Now this is an example of a site that's hosted with Bluehost. Uh, at the moment, if we fill in the fill in the form, it will say that it's being sent. I'm going to hit send, and it says your message was sent successfully. However, over in the email inbox, nothing arrives. If you've found that this situation um, and you, if you've found you've got the situation, you're getting really frustrated with it, um, here's what to do. There's a couple of things with Bluehost. First of all, Bluehost require that the email address that the contact forms are being sent from, uh, that that is loaded into the Bluehost mail servers. Um, it's part of their way of protecting against lots of spam being sent out from their servers. Now, the rules don't always apply. Sometimes if, you're, if you have a VPS, um, with Bluehost, then they're not as strict, but generally speaking, these are the rules that Bluehost apply to their to their servers. So, I'll just jump over to this tab and I'll show you the code behind this form. Here's the code here, just using contact form. This is the test email account that the forms are being submitted to, and you can see that the from name, it's coming up with your name, your email, which is from what the person fills in. So it's going to be the submitter's name and email address. Now this is why Bluehost are not sending it at the moment. The reason is that um, Bluehost looks at it and they don't recognize the email address and therefore they, they block it from being sent. So here are the steps you need to do. First step, even if your email is not hosted with Bluehost, you need to come into your control panel, click on email, or you can click on email there, or you can click on cPanel and go to email accounts. Any of them will take you through to the same place. And we need to set up an email account. So here we're going to set up the email account. I'm going to choose the domain. And I'm going to do the email address send form at the domain. Now this email address isn't shown to anybody, it's just used to send the form. I'm going to set up a simple password. And I'm going to click create account. It will just take a second and the account will be created. As you can see, send form is created and it's set up there. Now, I'm going to jump back to this uh, contact form settings and my from address is now going to be that email account send form at the domain I'm going to save that now and then we're just going to test the submitting again so what we've done is we've created an email account on Bluehost that we're not actually going to use but Bluehost just checks to see that is this a legitimate email account yes and then it's willing to send the mail. Now we don't receive to it, but we'll talk about that shortly as well. Let's submit the form again. Just refresh the page. Testing. Okay, let's submit. Once again, it tells us that it is successfully submitted, only this time we should actually receive it. And here we go. We've received it immediately. There we go. We have received the message. So the key steps are to have a real email address that Bluehost knows about in this here. Now, you might notice that at the moment it's just saying that it's coming from WordPress, from send a form. If you hit reply, it's going to be sent back to this email address. Now that's not really ideal because that email address doesn't exist. Here is a quick tip of what you can do. You can add additional headers. Reply to 
and then add in the fields that the person has filled in. So I'm just going to add in your name, your email. Now that is taken from these settings up here. See we have your name is the person's name that they've filled it in and your email are the names of the fields. So what I'm telling it to do is create a reply to so that the email will still be sent from this address but it's going to be um, when, when the user hits reply it's going to go to this. The other thing we can do as well if we want to we can write a name here. Say website name. Okay, let's save that. Let's refresh the form. Now we're just going to run another simple test. Okay, it's been sent. Let's have a look over in Gmail or where it's being received. Here we go, we've got our second one through. This time we can see that website name has appeared because of where we wrote that over here. Still being sent from the same address. The difference this time, even though it's being sent from that address, if we hit reply, it's going to go to the form submitters address. That's what that reply to field does. Okay, so that's how we set that up. Now, one extra thing. You would have noticed that I'm using a Gmail account here. Generally, you're going to want to send it to, you're probably going to want to send it to an email address that fits there. For example, I'm going to do example at the same domain name. Now, with our current setup, this will not work. There is a really important step that you need to take with Bluehost before this is going to work. So I'm just going to save that here. What happens is, if we send it to this email address, well Bluehost thinks it's handling the mail accounts for this domain. Uh, it's got the email set up, we just went to set up this send form email address. So what Bluehost does, it says, oh, sending to example at this domain right oh we don't have that email address and that just rejects it it loses it it's gone because it thinks it's handling the mail so we need to tell it explicitly do not handle the mail for this account and then sending to the domain will work this is a thing something that trips a lot of people up this is how you do it within bluehost coming back to your bluehost control panel go to domains and then go to zone editor we're going to select the domain so I'm using the example domain now scroll down until we get to mail exchanger so MX mail exchanger you can see it says email routing automatically detects configuration local it has determined that it is hosting um, the mail records locally so we're going to change this we're going to click on more and we're going to say remote mail exchanger what this does is it says configure the server to deliver all mail to external locations and refuse any deliveries from external source what what this means is that it's, it's oh here we go mail sent through the server will never be delivered to a local mailbox so this is what we want we don't want bluehost uh, running our mail if uh, unless of course you are running your email accounts through Bluehost. In this situation I'm not. I've got my email accounts running through Google Apps or, or, or Office 365, something else. So this is essential. So we've clicked change. Now, now that we've done that, this will work because Bluehost is no longer sending it to its own servers. It's going to look up where to send that to. So let's run our final test. So 
So I'm sending to example at the domain. Let's send it. Now this time I'm not going to check Gmail because it's not going to come through Gmail. It's going to be coming through my Outlook account, which is where that email address resolves to. And there you go. You can see that it's just come straight through to Outlook, which is the account where your example at the domain is being sent to. And here we have it. We have it all submitted. So that most important key step is to change the zone editor to tell Bluehost not to handle your email accounts. I hope this helps you solve your key problems in getting uh, this to work. The same principles can apply to fast, secure contact form and others. Step-by-step -step instructions are available at geektamin.com. And now, just to wrap up, I want to give two other um, plugins that are just brilliant when it comes to working with contact forms. Uh, it can be a little bit scary relying on receiving an email when someone fills this in, especially email might go down, um, something goes wrong, and you've lost a potential contact. If your um, customers are worth thousands of dollars, that is money down the drain. So there are two plugins that I highly recommend. Firstly, there's one called Contact Form DB. What this does is this integrates with Contact Form 7, with Fast Secure Contact Form, with a whole range of others, and it simply tracks and keeps a database of the forms that have been submitted. It is brilliant, it is easy, it is plug and play, you install it and it starts to capture. So I'll click on it here, and you can see Contact Us Form, and it has simply just recorded the range of different test messages that we've been sending. Every time uh, a message gets filled in on the contact form, it records it. So as a, as a backup, in case you're worried that you're missing emails, you can come in and have a look at this and make sure it's there. But one other thing that this plugin does brilliantly is that you can export, but not just export a standard list, you can export an Excel internet query. What this means is you get an Excel file that you just hit refresh data on, and as soon as you hit refresh data with an Excel, it immediately pulls the latest data from your web server. You can just be sitting, as long as you've got an internet connection, you have Excel open, you hit refresh, and it, it pulls all the latest data straight into your spreadsheet. So that is brilliant. I highly recommend Contact Form DB. It's just a plugin within WordPress, so you can go and install it. Now the other one that I recommend is a system called another plugin, Clockwork SMS. And what this does, it simply sends you an SMS text message whenever someone fills in your contact form. Now if you have hundreds of contact forms filled in, you might not want to do this, but if you come over here to plugins, if you just have a few or occasional ones, it is brilliant. These are all the different ones it works with. It works with Contact Form 7, works with Fast Secure Contact Form, Formidable uh, Pro, Get Shopped Gravity Forms, it, it just goes on and on. Um, what this means is that when someone fills in your form, you straight away get a text. You don't have to be concerned about missing their emails or not being on top of your emails. You get a text message, great, you go telling you that someone filled in the form, you go in and reply straight away. You look like you are brilliantly, brilliantly on top of your emails when actually you've just received a text message which is a whole lot easier to check and then you know that you need to reply to someone. Um, it's a free plugin. They, um, However, you do, you do just pay for text, but it is really cheap. They give you two or three texts um, to test that it works for free. So they give you a little bit of credit, and then you just put a little bit of money on there, um, and, and it, it just works. It costs just a few cents per text. It's absolutely brilliant, really highly valuable. So that's called clockworksms.com. I hope this has been beneficial to you, and that you get um, some great leads out of your contact forms.